Hi, I'm Kevin Williams. I'm one of the founders of Brush Hero. Uh, and just a few weeks ago, the Brush Hero and I were on ABC's Shark Tank. But tonight, we're here in Park City, Utah with Clayton Stark, the founder of Summit Auto Lab. And Clayton's gonna work with us to show us how he uses the Brush Hero in detailing cars and give you some tips and tricks that he uses um, along the way. So, Clayton? Yeah, so like Kevin said, I've been detailing cars here in Park City for about five years, and I've worked on some really dirty cars and some really exotic, expensive cars. And I know the Brush Hero itself and the tools and chemicals really help to get the job done. And we're gonna go through those tips and tricks um, to use this to get that proper detail and result. So Clayton, since we're here in your amazing auto lab, can you tell us a little bit about what Summit Auto Lab does beyond Absolutely. detailing? Absolutely, yeah, we detail cars, we tint windows, we do paint protection film, and complete vinyl wraps. So we do lots of stuff in here. Cool, well, uh, let's get started. Uh, we don't have a Lamborghini or anything super exotic tonight, but we do have a, a pretty standard Jeep Grand Cherokee here that's uh, pretty filthy, and Clayton's gonna help us get it really nice and neat by the end, I'm sure. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to detail the exterior of your car at home using this awesome, really dirty Jeep Grand Cherokee here in our shop. Uh, the tools and the chemicals we'll be using today really help and simplify this. My first tip and trick is to start with the wheels. With every detail job comes an arsenal of tools. Now today we have the Brush Hero Caddy with all of our tools ready to go right here for when we need them when we're cleaning this wheel. Uh, we already have the Brush Hero with the soap dispenser hooked up and the, there's soap in it and it's ready to go. Now just really fast, the soap we're gonna be using today is sold by Brush Hero and from a detailing standpoint, this soap is awesome because it's extremely thick, very viscous, and it works perfectly with how this brush works. It's, this brush is very unique, so it needs a unique soap. All right, so we have the brush here all hooked up, but I'm gonna go through a little bit of the different attachments that come with the brush here. So right now, we have the white brush, which is kind of like a medium uh, bristle brush, which is gonna be just perfect for this Jeep wheel here. But say you have a, uh, a really high-end car with, um, delicate wheels. There is a black brush here that's way softer, or say you're, you're dealing with something that uh, is way more rugged, there's a stiff bristle brush. Um, and then also this long brush here to get into those crevices, and we will be using this one on this wheel also. So the very first step in cleaning wheels is you wanna grab your favorite wheel cleaner or degreaser. Um, today we're gonna to be using this one here, and you're just gonna cover the whole tire, the face of the wheel, and try to get back into the barrel of the wheel. All right, now that degreaser or wheel cleaner is gonna be doing its job already. Now it's just breaking down and loosening up that dirt and getting it ready for the brush hero. All right, now that the wheel is coated in our degreaser, we wanna go ahead and grab the brush hero. Now the brush hero, the way it works is a little bit different than a normal brush. So you wanna approach the wheel a little bit differently. You wanna actually start at the bottom of the wheel and work your way to the top. And that's because as this cleans and as it scrubs, it rinses. So we don't want the rinse to take away our degreaser. We want the degreaser to stay on there and keep working. All right, now with the brush here, a sub dispenser, you wanna make sure it's on the soap setting and then you just turn it on down here and get cleaning. All right, so we've cleaned the spokes, the face, and the tire. Now, to get that real finished, detailed look, we're gonna clean the barrel of the wheel. To do that, we're gonna swap brushes. We're gonna get rid of this small one here, and these are just small compression fittings. So the brushes just pop right off, and the longer brush here pops right on, and then you just turn it right back on and get cleaning. all the soap and degreaser off, and that's as easy as just turning this to the water setting and then doing it all again. All right, the wheel is totally spotless clean. It's just wet right now. Um, but another trick and another tip to get that fully detailed look is to clean your wheel wells. Uh, now Brush Hero has an awesome attachment for that. It's the stiff bristle blue brush. So we're just gonna pop off the long brush here, set it aside in our bag, and we're gonna grab the blue brush, 
Just put it on, we're gonna go back to the soap setting, turn it on and clean the wheel well. Just like the wheel, once we're done cleaning the wheel well, we wanna turn it to the water setting and we'll rinse all the soap out of there. All right, now once those steps are complete, this wheel is totally done and clean. You just have three more wheels to do and then we move on to the paintwork by rinsing the car. Okay, we just finished cleaning all four wheels around the car. Now the brush here is extremely versatile, which is awesome when detailing cars. So we just switched out from the grimy wheel brushes to a brand new cleaned black soft bristle brush. And this is a really cool attachment because you can clean things like this front grill. It's very important when working on paint work is to have something very soft so it won't scratch and this black bristle brush does the trick. Now that we're done using the brush attachment, we're gonna switch to the spraying attachment here that comes with the soap dispenser. Now we're gonna switch this out really fast and easy. Then we're gonna rinse the car and cover it with soap. Now that the car is all covered in soap, we want to add some soap to our water bucket here. We're just going to add a few ounces of the Muckbuster soap right here. And then we want to foam up the bucket. We grab our wash mitt here and then just start washing the car. All right, so we've gone through, we've washed the entire car. Now the last step is just to rinse it. We've got the spray attachment again on the shower setting and we're just gonna rinse the whole car. Okay, the car is totally clean, it's just still wet. So now we're on the drying process, which there's another tip here. A lot of people don't know there's different microfibers out there. Right here we have two different ones. This is a lower pile, which means it's not as plush. And this one's a higher pile, which means it's extra plushy. You always wanna get a high pile microfiber towel to dry the car. These pick up the most water and they dry it the most efficiently. All right, by far one of the most dirtiest parts of a car has to be the engine bay. Now luckily for us, the Brush Hero has an awesome extended reach attachment here, which makes it perfect for cleaning engine bays, reaching all the way to the back, cleaning underneath wheels, all that kind of stuff. And we're gonna be using that to clean this engine bay. Now there's a few awesome tips I'm gonna share with you guys on how to get this sparkly clean. Um, so let's get to it. Now that the engine bay is coated in a degreaser or all-purpose cleaner, you'll let it sit for just a few minutes and then we'll bust out the brush hero here and get to work. Now this extendable attachment makes it really easy to reach to the back of the engine bay and to get around to all those hoses and nooks and crannies.
Thanks a lot, Clayton. It looks absolutely fantastic. I think it just goes to show with the right tools and the right techniques that virtually anyone can deliver a fantastic result. I'd like to give a huge thanks to Summit Auto Lab here in Park City. Uh, you should check them out, see what they do on exotic cars as well as everyday cars. Uh, follow them on Instagram at, at Summit Auto Lab. And uh, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks, Brush Hero.